Hello boys and girls. Welcome to the computer lab. I would like to remind you about our rules. You will be sitting on your bottom. Your hands will be in your lap and no talking. I want everybody to try that right now. Check and see if you're sitting on your bottom. Now are your hands in your lap and is your mouth closed and your ears open and ready to learn as you face the front and look at the big board. Now when you get to your computers boys and girls you're gonna see this menu of our brand new ST Math and this week you are going to do test drives. A test drive is kinda of like when your mom and dad wanna buy a car but they're not sure if they they wanna buy it so they're gonna test it out and drive it. So we're gonna start with the very first one there's all of these different types. Now I also wanted to add that just in case you get to your computer and you don't see this because someone accidentally uh, stopped with the red dot and you see this guy all you're going to do is click on Gigi click on Gigi again and then you will call me because I need to get on and reestablish that page that we were about to talk about and that means I need to enter my password and stuff. You'll, you'll be learning your password pretty soon, but I need to do this part. And we're going to go to the very first one. And this is where we were a minute ago. And we're going to go to the very top. And we're going to click on this arrow, Test Drive. And the first one says, how would you like to drive? with open access or with student. You want to take the first one, the first long bar, just like a, a student would play, because you are a student. So click on that, and you're going to see Gigi. Gigi is our friend. Gigi is a penguin, and she needs to go to all kinds of places, and you're going to help her get there. So click on her. She's going inside, and she needs to get across so this is the path that she needs to go on so you kind of move your arrow and you kind of try to figure out where do I want to click I could click here but that might take me somewhere so it, this seems to change color so I think maybe we'll click here it says defog oh she's in some fog so we want to get her out of there now all of a sudden there's a box so I wonder what I need to do let's try We'll just click on that because this game is kind of a trial and error type learning situation. It doesn't tell you what to do. It doesn't read anything to you. You just have to use your brain and click all over the place and try to figure out what to do. So let's click here since that seems to be the only thing that lights up. Whoa! She's going really far. Now there's a green arrow and that wants you to left click on your mouse and everybody's mouse if you don't know your left and right has a yellow dot on it and so you'll click on that yellow dot and there goes Gigi oh my goodness that ding sound means you got it right so we're gonna click again wow it's teaching you how to left click Yay! Here she goes. It's probably going to go like all the way until this gets to 100%. See, there it is, 100%. Yay! She took the elevator up. She's got a flag. Now she's on level what? Two. Hey! Because hey. level one was here. And now let's go to level two. Yay, there she goes. Now what? Let's see. I guess, oh, whoa, it's an eraser. How fun is that? Oh, I like this. You just move it. There she goes. Remember, that ding means you're getting it right. So that must mean you need to erase stuff. So that's what this skill is learning you to do is click and drag. And a lot of you learned that with me in kindergarten when we built the houses. Remember, we had to click and drag houses around with windows and doors and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, this is our test drive. And when it's time to go and the alarm goes off and it's time to leave our class, we're going to click this X. 
and leave it right here. Do not red dot out. Don't stop red dot. Just leave it here for the next child that's coming in this room. And then you will stand up, and put your headphone away, push your chair in, and you will stand in front of your chair without standing on top of it and wait for directions for dismissal so that this class will leave and the next class will come in. Remember that we are always quiet in here and we never run to the computers because that's dangerous. You can trip, you can bump into each other, fall and hit your head on a table. We don't want that. So we're going to very slowly and quietly walk to the computers and get started.